What's up, y'all? This is Ron coming back at you with yet another car video. There are no age limits to body gain. There are no age limits. Before I get into that, this is more of a, a program announcement. Starting next week, all my videos are going to like upload at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. 3 o'clock Pacific time. I'm just moving the start back time to three hours later. Because, you know, I had been famous for uploading videos like real early, like 3 o'clock on the Eastern Coast, East Coast, and then uh, midnight on the Pacific Coast. And, you know, as I said before, I do my uh, sit down videos, all of that on all my channels at least a week before, at least. Sometimes a few weeks before. So, I just, uh, no special reason, just moving it back, you know? Used to be I'd wake up around 3 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't uploading videos, but I'd wake up around 3 in the morning. Now, I'm doing it a little bit later, you know? One thing the stroke is move my start time back. I can still get up at 3 o'clock, but one of the things I got to get is rest. So, been getting a bit more rest and everything. It's no different in everything. A lot of people don't really wake up themselves or I really don't see what's up with the video until about 9 o'clock in the morning. So, I ain't gonna move it back that far. Some people be like on some drive time with my stuff. So, I say it's shit. 6 o'clock Eastern Time. 3 o'clock uh, 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 Pacific Time. Alright? That's the only change though. So, like, and I know some people still gonna be surprised. Hey, Ron, you didn't upload at three. Yeah. It is what it is. Don't say I didn't tell you. All right? But anyway, to the main thing, there's no age limit to body gain. There's no age limit. Because, like I said, people be letting me know if somebody trying to come against me or something, right? And some uh, comment, somebody screenshotted me, man. Somebody say, man, people shouldn't be, you ain't supposed to be lifting past the age of 40. Bama, please. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to tell you what, man. And I've been seeing this as y'all know I've been working. I've worked in several gyms since the. Uh, I've worked in several gyms since the. Uh, what? Man, late 90s and stuff, right? Several gyms. Let me get some old guys be way over the age of 40 be in there. Alright, hold on for a second. Okay, this dude so busy in a rush just to get at the get at the wish call at the same time we did. I say, damn, what you rushing for? <laughs> anyway, yeah, since the late nineties been either well, really well early nineties, I was working out mostly at a university gym, so there wasn't a lot of old guys, but any of the uh, like public gyms I've been working at, always some older guys in there over the age of 40 working now. And you know, yeah, that don't stop. Working out don't stop. And even if you ain't trying to lift or something, you still need to be doing something. You need to at least be doing some walking at the very least, doing some type of exercise. Because, and it's not even about just getting women. Even though it helps, it's a fringe benefit, but it's just for your health, period. It's for your health. Now, I know some people, anybody, let's put it like this, anybody who say some dumb ass shit like that, let's go in the gym. <laughs> let's go in the gym. I done had a struggle. Let's still go in the gym. Let's see, let's see who do what. In fact, anybody got a problem with it, here's a video in the description box, me and my, uh, me uh, having my five course meal. I did uh, like a five set exercise and a four set exercise right here. Like just look in the link, right? But anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, go in these gyms, it'd be older guys in there throwing it out. Shit, it just past older guy walking. <laughs> Shit. Dude, you don't stop. See, one thing, as a man, 
you need to keep going. You need to keep going. You don't stop. And if you're talking specifically lifting, I mean, several doctors, several doctors and personal trainers say a man who's over 50 needs to lift. Needs to lift. Now, if somebody said, well, bro, man, you lifting, man, you still had a, uh, had a stroke. Well, yeah, other pro athletes have had strokes. Michael Johnson, who had been to the Olympics, had a stroke. Montel Williams, who uh, was uh, lifting, had a stroke while he was lifting. You don't stop. Because, and look, let me put that in the description box. Here, here's some links there talking about some pro athletes who had strokes. Let me put that link in the description box. But I'm going to tell you what, because anybody, anybody can get a stroke. But see, one of the things that helped me to come back as soon as possible was lifting. Because when I was in the therapy center, that's what we were doing, mostly curls, arm exercises. For occupational therapists, they just gave me a weight. They were like, okay, give me 15. Give me 20. <laughs> I was like, shit, I've been doing this. You know, another physical therapist. And, you know, like I said, I had trouble walking. What they do? Walking. I was just doing exercise. They had to put leg weights on and stuff. You don't stop. That's why I was able to come back. They even said that. They said, yeah. Yeah, we can see you athletic. So, we can see. I was able to come back from it quickly. Because, any, like I said, with any athletes, anybody can get it. You know? Anybody, it can happen anytime. It's a common thing. But you don't stop just because you're 40. What that mean? I know some 40 olds now. Shoot, some guys in their 40s and stuff throwing up some weight. Yeah. Cousin T Talk, who I've had on here, he, he be throwing up some weight. Be throwing up some weight. In fact, let me put a video of me and T Talk working out. Let me put a video, boom. So, yeah, I got how many videos I got in there? I got about three videos in the uh, in the description box. Because there ain't something you stop. See, one thing, you don't stop. This a lifestyle. It's something you going to do. Now, am I saying you got to be throwing up 300 pounds or be ready to run a marathon? Actually, there's some guys over there for you running it. Yet another man, older man, who just walking. I just passed. Nah, you don't stop. Because, see, one of the things is that's why a lot of men, their muscles atrophy. Because you're not using them. They're built to be used. And you really don't get any weaker. I'm probably, I ain't going to lie. Right now, I was getting my strength back up uh, pre-stroke. My strength was, like, I was probably stronger in my 50s than I was in my 20s. You don't stop it. See, that's the thing, though. See, somebody will stop it, but you see, somebody don't want to lift. They don't want to do all that shit. They come up with that bullshit. Or they feel like somebody's supposed to be old. Shoot. You got some cats. They be hitting the gym hard, older than me. Shoot, gym I go to. Be some dudes in there. Shoot, I'm the young dude. I'm 59. I'm the young dude in there. <laughs> And still be some motherfuckers over the age of 40 lifting. You don't stop. The shit don't stop. Like I said, they don't, it ain't even about women, man. It's about your health and everything. Shit. You got to keep that shit up. You got to be working out. They'll tell you. Doctors will tell you. They say you still working out. I'm like, yeah. It's like, okay. Shit. Like I told uh, one of my doctors, I said, shit, I was sluggish. I was feeling sluggish, so they cut back on one of my medicines and everything. They said, all right, I feel better already. But it doesn't end. See, that's the thing about body game. It's more than just getting women. Yeah, we know it for getting women. And yes, that's a great fringe benefit. A great fringe benefit, but shit. You need to be dealing with your health, period, and everything. You need to be exercising. Like I say, you don't have to lift no heavy weights or something, unless you want it. You don't have to be throwing up 300 like I was. You know, I don't know. Shoot, if I, I might get back to that. Right now, I'm happy. I'll be taking that thing, thing small. You know? 
used to could curl a whole lot. Now I don't try to as much, man. But it's all about the motion, keeping it up. Like I said, when I was in therapy, man, these professional therapists, I was like, well, shit, I could be in the gym doing this. In fact, that's what we call the people at the therapy center. That's what we call the, the therapy room, the gym. Because you go in there, they put you on, like, stuff. Uh, you had to keep a certain speed. You had to just keep moving. Walking. Like, little small weights. Uh, dumbbells to lift. Shit. Because if it wasn't important, especially if you had a certain age, they wouldn't have it in there, common sense. So who do, you know, who to listen to? Some people who don't know shit or some trained professionals. And they say it, though, seriously. And I would recommend any guys get out there. And like I said, yeah, I still had a stroke, but yeah, athletes get strokes. That don't stop you. That don't stop it. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it. It's how you come back from it. And one thing, being athletic, come back from it. Because I've had some people, like one person got in the comments and said, yeah, you know, they had a, I think their father had a stroke, but refused to take any therapy. He wasn't doing, so he was stuck. So you, you got to keep going with it. So I'm going be, to be doing something until I transition. I can tell I can't move anymore. I'll put it like that. If you gotta get to the point, I gotta just be at home doing push-ups or whatever. I'm gonna be doing that. And see, that's to understand something. See, that's another thing too. I've had some uh, guys hit me up and say, "Well, can I get I'm in this age? Can I get started?" You can start a body game at any time. Shit, uh, Jim, I'm coming back from. There was a. Uh, guy, I could tell he was older than me. I could tell how he moved and shit. He was older and taller than me. Had a personal trainer in there, like just having him on some just basic stuff. He just, yeah, you could tell he a beginner. Now, I don't know what his issue is. If he coming back from something, but he's still older. In fact, you got one this one personal trainer. His clients are nothing but older. All the clients I've seen are were past the age of 50. Look like somebody had got work back in the day. <laughs> but anyway, right? That's one of the things you just want to just keep going with it and everything. You know, it don't stop. Even if you even if you married or something, because you know, I talked this week about a woman cheating. The biggest reason they cheat is their husband don't like keep themselves up. But shit, they cause them keep themselves up. You know, they be coming back home. <laughs> you know, they, they not getting in my bad situation. Because the woman be out, she, you know, had a day at work. She come home, see her husband. He been left in, you know, he looking good to her. He sitting, he done pulled the matches into the living room. He sitting there butt naked. So she get in, he rip her clothes off, throwing the matches, tap that shit like he just got out of prison. And she be smiling like, hey. she got that goofy smile on her face. That dude be like, yeah. Because <laughs> body game does build up your endurance, too. She not only like what you look like with your uh, clothes off, but it'll build up your endurance. You know, have a nice uh, mix of cardio, lifting, also eating and stuff. Eating and stuff. So, you know, got to have all of that together and shit. And I'm going to tell you what. Oh, and hydrate, motherfuckers. Hydrate, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, you do all that stuff. And like I said, anybody uh, who got some problems with that, hey, post-stroke and all, man, we, we going to jail. Let me know. Let me know. Shit. Yeah, it don't stop. It don't stop. And like I said, man, it's really, it's ain't about women, man. It's about your own health. What you got to do. You want to try to be in your best shape. You know? The women are a friend's benefit, but, you know, like I said, even having a stroke and everything, 
was able to come back from it. A lot of people are like, well, damn, how you come back so quick? Some people shocked and shit. Some people seen some of these videos I'm doing now. I think, oh, wait a minute, just a pre-stroke. Because, you know, when I had that stroke, remember, I had some stuff in my throat, so I couldn't eat as well. Yeah, I dealt with that shit. Oh, and incidentally, it's crazy. Well, I ain't going to get into that. I ain't going to get into that. Now I need to know everything. Got an older woman over there walking and shit. You know? You don't stop it. Whatever you do, there's no, like I say, there's no age limit to it. There's no age limit. You don't stop. Body game, once you practice it, you keep practicing. You keep practicing that until you transition. You keep moving. Because especially with a lot of men, you get some men. That's why you get some of those uh, blue collar type motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers be up in their uh, 50s and shit, still working out, still doing stuff, still being able to move something. You know, I remember back in the day on one of my 1,000 jobs, I really have had a lot of jobs. <laughs> I was working at uh, the Census Bureau, and we had this old brother, he was in his 70s, and had all us young guys in our, in our teens and 20s working there, right? He was out working all of us, and we, we joked with him and stuff. He said, yeah, man, you must be tearing your wife up. And he was like, yeah, be tearing up, and sometimes I tell her, call a friend to help out. <laughs> but this dude, he, he was on some stuff. Yeah, I got to, like, slow down. I got Popo behind me, Popo in front of me, and everything. I got to slow down. I was about to, I was about to hit it. That motherfucker waiting to. He was like, yeah, I got one. They in that speed trap thing this morning. That's how they make their money and shit. That's how those motherfuckers make their money. You get some motherfucker. This motherfucker waiting. Yeah, he said, yeah, look at that motherfucker. Yeah, oh, wait, I can't go a little bit faster. <laughs> Oh, I gotta keep that shit. I gotta keep that shit under 50. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's one thing in this area, man. It's it's peaceful, so the popo got nothing else to do. But lock your ass up. Or, like, catch you for speeding. That's how they make their money. That's your tax for driving and shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I was recording one time. I had a popo stop me and stuff. I was like, yeah, motherfucker. Y'all might remember. Well, that was a while ago. I've done so many videos, 4,000 videos and shit. Yeah, but anyway, right. Y'all want to keep it up, though, man. Seriously. Whatever you're doing, like I say, you don't have to be throwing up no big weights and all that shit. You got to do something. Yeah, motherfucker passed me and shit. Yeah, okay. He's like, damn, this motherfucker ain't. He probably looking at me, probably waiting for me to speed up. I had open road and shit, man. But he, driving, man, you got to gotta have awareness of what's going on around you, man. Especially in this area, man. Got a lot of speed traps. And share us with nothing else to do. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, you wanna you wanna do whatever. Like I said, you don't have to be lifting any big weights. I said that several times, but you need to be doing something. You know, maybe playing a sport, something. You know, keeping up, doing some walking at the very least. Because you get a lot of, that's why you, like, like I was saying earlier, that's why you get some of those blue collar dudes be getting, they get old and shit, still be throwing up some shit because they're still moving. And especially if you're working on an office job, anybody working on an office job, you need to have a gym membership because you're sitting around and they ain't good for you. They ain't good for you. Yeah, you're making a bunch of money. Yeah, you can try to impress some dumbass women. Yeah, I said it like that, some dumbass women. You can impress some dumbass women who are more impressed with your position. But 
you making that money by sitting around, that, that shit, that shit hits you at some point. And that's, you don't want that. You know, so especially if you got a sit down job, you got to keep moving. And you want to just keep moving up in this motherfucker. And everything, keep moving. It's ironic I said that, man. Went into this driveway, got this guy with his walker out. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. But anyway, though, yeah. Pull up in here, but yeah. I'm about to get off here. Remember, next week, all my uh, sit down videos and pre recorded videos, they're gonna be on um, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. Um, Pacific Time. And you know, whatever. It's still gonna do whatever. Still gonna get some shit done. Whatever. And as far as body game, whatever you gotta do, man. And it don't stop with any age, man. I don't give a fuck how old you are. You know, if you're 55 and say, well, I wanna start lifting for the first time. Yeah. If you wanna start lifting, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no thing. Just start from zero. Just start from zero, all right? So anyway, y'all, that's all I have. And, you know, this is the weekend. You know, I'm going to be doing car videos on the weekend and stuff. So anyway, let me let me uh, get in here and get some vittles. All right, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.